Great is the Sierra again. So now we're going to go over some of the features of Bartlett Instruments' newest controller, the Genesis Touchscreen Controller. So come on over here and take a look at this. Really exciting on this control board. The great thing about it is, is that you have, instead of just having six user programs, you have 32 user programs with eight segments in each program for an enormous amount of programming ability and storage for this, for all of your different firing schedules. So to, load, to, to fire your, uh, to program your control board to fire, you simply start with pressing the load button. Over here on the right hand side, you have your scroll bar. This allows you on every screen, if there's a list, to move up and down through your list. Now this control board is set up for both potters and glass artists. So the first two on this list are for potters. You really don't need those. So we're gonna scroll down here and you have two choices. You can either do pre-programmed glass firing schedules Pretty basic, you choose your glass, you say, okay, I'm gonna slump, tack fuse, full fuse, or do some casting. So let's just do a full fuse. The program gets loaded. You see here, it says it's glass, full fuse for COE 96 in a medium speed. Well, let's say you tell me, but I don't use COE 96, I use COE 90. So we're gonna go in here and edit. And you have the opportunity to edit all of your different features of it. So COE 96, well, we don't use 96, so we touch the 96 and we choose the 90. Check the box and save. So now it's changed it. You don't wanna go medium speed, that's okay. We can go slow and we save it. You don't wanna, you don't wanna hold for 15 minutes, we can fix that too. We're gonna to come in here, hours are to the left, minutes are to the right, numbers are literal and you have a maximum of four hours hold time available to program into this controller for each segment so we're going to hold it for let's say 30 minutes we save it and now everything's on there we press copy user one and yes we're going to copy it always asks you if you want to continue and now it says it's set to factory defaults so now We've got custom user one, medium, slow. So if you look here at your profile, you can see that it's doing a medium speed profile and you can always check your profile. This particular program has eight segments with several different holds. You've got your two hour hold at your anneal time. You've got several different pieces in there. So let's go back and now we're ready to fire it. So once we're ready to fire, we press the start button. The Genesis controller has a start now, start later, and a non-functioning remote start. The two we need to look at are the start now and start later. If you wanna program a delay in there, if you want it to start in a couple hours, you press the start later and program the number of hours you want it to hold before it starts. But we're just gonna start now. It also has a safety lockout. So for people that have curious fingers that touch their kiln controllers, there is, you can put in a code, in order to start your kiln. Now, the basic code is just one. It comes from the factory that way, and if you don't have curious fingers, you just leave it at one and press start. It's gonna tell you that it's getting ready to start firing. It's gonna check a few things. It's gonna click your relays on and off for a second. And then it says it's firing. Okay, so now let's show you how to program a ramp hold firing. So we're gonna go back in here to load. We're gonna scroll down to custom because we do wanna customize it. Now you can see where you already saved that full medium slow full fuse one in there. So let's start with user two because it's blank. And it's gonna choose user two and it's gonna load it. That gives us the ability and it tells you that it's loaded here. That gives us the ability to edit the program. Now, the amazing thing about this one is is you can name your programs. You simply touch up there where it is and you can name the program that you're firing. So let's say that you have a very specific program for a very specific bowl mold. You can put bowl or name it whatever you want and save it. And then it features it up there and you know which one you're looking for. So in this instance, let's just do a basic two segment program. So in order for right now, it only has one segment. So in order to add another segment, you're gonna press the segments. And you're gonna add a segment. You have the ability to insert a segment if you need to insert one. So let's say you need to put one in between. You find out, I need a bubble squeeze in here, so we need to put one in between one and two. So let's go here and press the two. You insert a segment. It will insert above 
the line that you chose. So now we have a three segment program. Again, you can delete a line too. Delete segment. There it goes, now we're back at two. So in order to program this, you simply touch the one that you want to, to program. So we're gonna program your ramp rate on your first one to as fast as possible. So as fast as possible for this controller is 9999. You save. Let's say that our target temperature is going to be 1450 degrees. Save. Hold time. 15 minutes. Remember, hours to the left, minutes to the right. And now we're going to go into a slow controlled anneal. So let's say we're going to go at 450 degrees an hour for our second ramp rate, but we're going down by 450 degrees to 960. So let's say we're doing COE 96. So we'll do that. And then we want to anneal it there for one hour and five minutes. Again, hours to the left, minutes to the right. It shows you how long it's gonna be there. Now, we've got it programmed, so we press copy. Now, if we're rewriting the same one and we wanna keep that as the same one, we just choose that user number two. Yes, we're gonna copy. And now, you see here on your display screen, it shows you user number two, it's your bowl simply start your firing. Again, basic lockout from the factory is number one. Now down here, after it checks everything, down here you can see what your current temperature inside your kiln is. You can see how long it's been firing. You can see what its target set point is and what segment of how many segments you're in. This control board also has the ability to hook up to wireless. You are, if you are able to connect to a wireless router, you can hook this up to a wireless router. That gives you the ability to use the Kiln app on your smartphone by Bartlett Instruments and monitor your firings. You can't control, you can't program, but you certainly can monitor your firings without being right next to the kiln. So that is a great thing. It also gives you the ability to download firing data if needed and also gives you the ability to download updates so your controller is never out of date. All you have to do is go to Bartlett's website and download all of that information. The website information and all of that can be found in the control book. So if you need to fire, if you need to change things while you're firing, you can just press the adjust button. It allows you to add hold time, it allows you to add temperature to your hold, and it allows you to skip a step. It also allows you to change your alarm temperature. The basic alarm is set to off, so let's say that you have something you need to do during your firing, but you need to know when it gets to 1300 degrees, you come in here and program it to 1300, and it'll start beeping at you at 1300 degrees. But again, the basic is just left off with 9999. If you need to add temperature again to the current firing, it adds it in five degree segments. If you need to add hold time, again, five minute increments. So those are the basic features of the Genesis controller. So if you have any other questions, you're always welcome to give us a call here at Olympic Kilns.